here's me doing late night Tumblr posts. Very, very tired and grumpy. But it's okay. Might be funny. Okay, which one of you clowns asked for an Yasha sequel? I'm not mad. I just want to talk. Into Yasha. Oh. Oh, you're first. Wait, 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 wait. Now it's too late. You're already sniped. How to make a baked potato. Butter. Kitty. Foil. No shoes. Behold. Consume it if you dare. Today I learned a philosophy riddle from 1688 was recently solved. If a man bore blind can feel the differences between shapes such as spheres and cubes, could he, if given the ability, distinguish those objects by sight alone? In 2003, five people had their sight restored through surgery, and no, they could not. I love when apparently deep questions turn out to have clear empirical answers. <laughs> wow. Your favorite is problematic. Santa. What? Judgmental as hell. Uses reindeer slaves and doesn't even have a pilot's license. I don't know what made me want to Google does Santa Claus have a pilot's license, but I'm really glad I did because apparently he received one from the U.S. Assistant Secretary of Commerce with the directors of aeronautics as a witness in 1927. Holy shit, Santa's real. What the fuck? My dad has a doppelganger named Eric. For years, people have been coming up to him thinking he was Eric. Sometimes people get a whole conversation going while my dad stands there politely wondering why this stranger is talking to them before they stop wide-eyed and realize, you're not Eric. None of us have ever seen Eric, but we know he's out there. Sometimes a couple years will go by without an Eric incident and we worry. But then my dad will come home like, good news guys, Eric's still alive. I've met his cousin today. They're putting all kinds of stuff in a sandwich recently. Check it out when you have the chance. If you're wondering why I said it like that, that's what I am. Life is an egg. Can you kindly explain, please? Has chickens in it sometimes. I mean, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. Why every male protagonist in a horror game called Ethan? They know what they did. Arguably the most ominous reply on any of my posts. Seriously, what did Ethan do? So I was writing a small paper in Microsoft Word, and the program suddenly crashed. I've saved a couple minutes before, thank God. And then I get this message in the corner of my screen two seconds afterward. Microsoft Word is now playing Elder Scroll V Skyrim. What the fuck? It's a whole new level of procrastination where your paper itself is procrastinating. Also, the paper just got good taste in video games. I think we should... Hold on. Hang on. I gotta do that one more time. I think we should have glow stick juice injected in our bones when we're born. So if we break them, there's a fun little surprise. What? Oh, it's the surprise. Oh, you know. Blood poisoning. The drive-in church worship guide. <laughs> I'm sorry. The drive-in church worship guide. Parking lights on, I am ready to worship. Headlights on, I am singing along. Right turn signal, raising one hand in worship. Wipers on, lifting both hands in worship. Honking, preach it, amen, right on. Left turn signal, I want to ask for forgiveness of my sins. Hazard lights, I'm in need of prayer. And spraying washer fluid, I would like to be baptized. I'm just going to assume this is how church works in the Cars universe. <laughs> what the fuck? Furry found a Wikipedia article edited anonymously from the U.S. House of Representatives. Yo, someone in Congress is a furry and we'll never find out who. Cards Against Humanity founder threatens to publish web history of Congress members in privacy bill protest. Or will we? When someone from a different time zone is late night blogging and it's daytime where you are. This is what this gif, well technically picture for me, is destined to be. This is also probably what it feels like when I say late night Tumblr post and I upload it at 12 p.m. And somebody's just like, what the hell? It's like 5 a.m. or I am. Why are you doing this? It's not late. All right. Guys, time zones are a thing. Look them up. Look at a globe. Why is every author a number one best-selling author? Why is every toothpaste the number one recommended toothpaste? Why do my parents hate me? Why is every movie the number one movie in America? 
I love that mayhem is a legal term. Like you can be charged with mayhem. It's like arresting someone for funny business. The jury finds the defendant guilty on all accounts of tomfoolery, japing, and generally taking the piss. Causing a ruckus they are. American things that are surely fictional. Donald Trump, blue raspberry, wearing shoes indoors, and Texas? Actually, I can vouch for Texas. My brother lives there. I would like to add to the list, your brother. Every time I tell someone about my potato allergy, they go, Oh, that sucks. I can't imagine not eating fries and mashed potatoes. And I'm like, oh, rest assured. Neither God nor the devil himself can stop me from tribucting. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this word when I'm tired. Tribucting hot spoonfuls of starchy face swelling, throat itching good shit into my dumb as hell gaping potato receptacle. Kramer, I'm still not over the fact that you thought the potato sweats were a thing. I simply assumed we were all willing to suffer for our passions. I mean, we are, but Kramer, you're dying. If you step on a person's foot, they open their mouths like trash cans. Why is that thing into shit? This is stupid. VRB, stabbing Caesar. Ouch. You had it coming, Caesar. He only had himself to blame. If you'd had been there, if you'd had seen it, I bet you would have done the same. Physically speaking, I'm alive and at home. Emotionally, I've been dead at the bottom of a ravine in Vermont for like 11 days, and they just discovered my body due to heavy snowfall burying me for the past week. Boat. <gasps> a skeleton. And there are two of you. Perfect. You'll be Skella 1, and I guess Skella 2 or whatever. No. no. Well, I can't think of anything else. Let me just check Microsoft Word. <gasps> Wait, oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Dad! It's not Alvin and the fucking chipmunks! It's Nightcore! Please shut the fuck up! Uh, hello there. General Kenobi. Car, 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 car. The therapist. The Stalin car isn't really can't hurt you. <laughs> the Stalin car. Kachiga Kamra! 